in the heart of the African wilderness, a tribe known as the Hadzaba faced an unexpected challenge. Fierce and cunning, the baboons threatened their way of life. But what did the Hadzaba do to defend themselves? The answer will leave you in awe. So, let's dive into the video to know. For this tribe's men hunting baboons is a daily activity in a hot, harsh climate. Their landscape is precariously packed with thorny bushes, poisonous snakes, and man-eating lions. But a successful hunting expedition is the difference between eating or going hungry. Hunting Activity The Hadza tribe are highly efficient and skilled hunters, and the surprising thing about them is they can adjust their diet according to the season. Depending on local availability, at some point in time, some groups might rely more heavily on tubers, others on berries, and others on meat. Traditionally, the Hadza tribe do not make use of hunting dogs as it is a part of their tradition. Women also hunt for their tribe and family. But the main thing is that their hunting includes digging sticks, carrying berries in the grass basket, and holding various other items in the pouch near their necks. They do not go hunting but all the other activities except this. Men mostly carry axes and bows. Surprisingly, there are two types of arrows, poisonous and non-poisonous. They also carry fire drills, shoes, other garments, and other small things. The men specialize in hunting big animals so that they can get meat, honey, and the baobab fruit from the baobab tree. The women specialize in berries, tubers, and other green items. This division of work is rather apparent, but at times women also gather small animals and eggs and are also seen gathering honey. Likewise, the men bring tuber and some berries back to the campsite. That's how both males and females work together to serve a livelihood. Also, their hunting is influenced by seasons, especially the dry season. As in dry season, men often hunt in pairs and spend entire nights lying in wait by water holes, hoping to shoot animals that approach for a nighttime drink and are treated with poisonous bows and arrows. The poison is made of the branches of the shrub Adenium cutaneum. Now you might wonder about the role of bows and arrows. Well, they are part of their hunting, so let's talk further about their hunting techniques. Hadza Hunting Techniques Persistence hunting is monitoring and pursuing prey, such as antelopes, over extensive distances until the prey is worn out. Then, the Hadza hunters use their strength and endurance to catch the prey. Bow and Arrow The Hadza hunt with handmade bows and arrows. They use locally available materials, such as wood and animal sinew, to make their weapons. Unfortunately, in order to catch moving animals more effectively, the arrows are frequently laced with poison from the desert rose plant. They have hunted various animals like baboons, antelope, buffalo, etc., using handmade poisoned bows and arrows crafted during their hunting missions. Trapping The Hadza also use traps to capture small wildlife like birds, rats, and other small creatures. Natural resources found in the environment, such as sticks and vines, can be used to build these traps. Hadzaba Diet just like hunting, we can imagine their diet as well, full of meat, animal flesh, plants, etc. Their diet can be conveniently categorized into five main categories, tubers, berries, meat, baobab, and honey. The Hadza people follow a seasonal diet and rarely get antibiotics. However, the Hadza are regularly exposed to microorganisms in their surroundings because no powerful commercial cleaning products are available. This may help to explain the gut microbiome's adaptability partially. The staples of their diet include the baobab tree, high-fiber tuber roots, berries, fresh honey, and various meats from hunting. A common dish is a soup made from the baobab fruit. But you know what? Baboons are also a part of their diet. Shocked, right? Let's know more about this. If you don't know, baboons are a gnarly bunch of animals with massive teeth, bigger than a lion's, and you might not believe it but you need to think twice before facing them. Hadza people go out during the evening to find where the baboons live and spend the rest of the night near their homes, so that in the morning, the first thing they can do is hunt them. Then, as the sun rises in the morning and the baboons start to wake up, they are shot with poisonous arrows and crash and fall down on the ground. This way, the baboons are hunted and then eaten. Seasonal hunting. And as we said, just like their hunting, their diet is also affected by the change of season. A mostly plant-based, high-fiber diet is a part of the wet season and is composed mostly of honey, some fruit, tubers, and occasional meat. And on the other hand, during the dry season, the game changes. 
The contribution of meat to their diet increases as their diet game becomes concentrated around sources of water. So this is how Hadza people hunt and eat. Isn't it surprising and weird at the same time? Let us know your thoughts on this tribe in the comment section below and follow for more such videos.